Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm, I haven't pulled this uh, solar oven out for a while, and it's pretty sunny today. It's uh, about, let's see, it's 20 degrees, yeah, about 20 degrees, we got about a 15 mile an hour wind, and uh, pretty chilly out here. It's, uh, the re real feel is like 17 or something. I wanted to bring this out and uh, just see what it's like uh, in the winter time. I did it this summer, and the top, um, the highest temperature I got out of it was uh, 270 degrees, and uh, I cooked a meatloaf in it, a full meatloaf that took about four or five hours. And it was really, really good. It's actually one of the best meatloafs I think I've ever had. So um, the temperature, this has been out. I put this out here at 1220. Got some noon sun. Got a couple of clouds right here passing. The uh, sky is really, really clear today. Tried it yesterday, but it uh, ended up getting overcast real quick. Today is a perfect day. So I put this out here at about 12:20, and uh, it was a zero degrees here on the uh, dial, and it is 12:35 right now, and it's already gotten up to 100 uh, almost 200 degrees but uh, I'll be back with you after this hits 200 degrees I'm just testing to see how well it works I got it with on this little dolly um, I got for like five bucks out of the rummage sale hey guys what's up uh, oven has reached uh, 210 degrees well it was 210 but some clouds went by um, I came across, as you can see, this foil tape is kind of uh, grungy a little bit. Um, looks like it's been used a little bit, which I used it quite a bit this summer. Uh, uh, I came across, and I was going to do this a little while back, but I kind of got lazy and didn't have some more projects I was doing. But this is a roll of uh, 3M um, mirror film. I have some... Uh, hologram type film in the garage too on a roll kind of like this but um this is basically like a mirror uh, I had this in my room on one wall for a little while when I was younger it's been around for a long long time it's in the garage buried under some stuff found it a while back see how reflective that is and you can see how reflective this is and it's yeah so so but I'm gonna cut out some squares I'm gonna disconnect this hopefully I get some sun it's clear for another part of the day but I'm gonna replace these Ooh, it's kind of warm uh, I'm gonna replace these sections as you can see they're crinkled and whatever they're not as efficient as they could be alright guys it might be a little windy out. It wasn't earlier when I was in the first uh, clip. But what I'm going to do, this is bumped up. This is up to 220 degrees right now. I'm kind of really impressed. So I'll pop this out. i got to flip it anyway because it's kind of warping a little bit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to toss a few of these two-pound weights in here just to see if maybe I can get the temperature to spike a little more. And then I'll try it. Put that up there. And then I'll come back out here in a few. I almost got my pizza cut for the uh, reflectors. So uh, I will be back in a minute and show you how that's going. If you want to see any of my earlier videos on how I built this, um, you can go to. Uh, my earlier videos, I got this foil on here from this film, this mirror film, whatever that it is. But uh, I just put it out here. It went from zero to 150 degrees within, I don't know, five minutes. You can see how, uh, I'll give you a close up here in a second, but you can kind of see here and here, there's a big difference in uh, the reflection of it. Um, how much it's thrown, reflecting off. But you can see right here, here's 
the old foil right here and then right here I got a couple cut a little couple corners right there but I want to keep it on here so I can show you the difference um, that one's got a lot on it so right here is really the only place you can really tell a huge difference in it let's kick my tripod over Alright guys, you can see we've reached about 210, it's dropping right now, I was just up to 220, but the bunch of clouds rolling in, uh, so it's probably going to be a while till this gets back up to temperature, it's about 3.30, so there's really not much sunlight left, um, the best time of day for it would have been when the sun was right up above us in the sky, so it's hard to grab the sun from, uh, winter days, especially since it's, you know, kind of hazy sometimes, gloomy. That is about it. There's my little test for Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is the next morning, um, day after the other part of the video you were just watching. Um, it's 10.30 in the morning, I think. Yeah, it's about 10.30 in the morning. I put this out here when I got up around 9 o'clock, I think it was. Maybe, no, I got up a little earlier, but I drug it out about maybe 8, something like that. And put it out here. It was up to about 200 degrees um, earlier. And uh, I wanted to see how if it would get any hotter, and it's up to 250 degrees. Well, it's almost there. Let's see. Almost. So, uh. It is supposed to be, as of an hour ago, when I was watching the news, it was minus 3 here where I'm at. It's minus 3 degrees with the wind chill. Only 12 degrees regular, and it were only, it's only supposed to get up to like 27 today with the high. And this is a direct sun. You can see there's snow on the ground. There's my pile back there, my garden. These are frozen. So there you go. That shows you how good a solar oven can be. Hope you can see this. This has actually gotten up to 280 degrees. Pause, this has gone up 280 degrees. Um, temperature hasn't dropped any. It's in the noon sun. It's like 12:30 maybe. Um, I also had this little extra piece that I had from when I bought this and cut it to size. I put it right here, like just right there, and uh, I think it helped heat it up a lot tell you the truth, um, I might get a piece, an experiment with it, and get a piece that just goes from here to there that I can lay right here in front of it because it has two layers when the sun goes through, it bounces off each one of these layers, comes in and all, does all that stuff down in there, so it's holding steady at 280. So, um, I don't know, build your own little, I'm going to also, uh, experiment with I think I'm gonna take this little piece and cut it find a box that will it'll fit and make a mini uh, solar oven a little just a little small mini solar oven but uh, that's my solar oven experiment um, I encourage you to experiment with it too and uh, you guys take care and have a good day